No disrespect to Peter Horby, but I'm sorry, I can't agree. Porsche 928, the best looking car in the world ever. No. Not in my opinion, because if you ask me, this is. It's the Citroen DS, and it's, well, it's gorgeous. But more importantly than that, it was launched in 1955. 55. Let me put that into perspective. There you are in the 50s at your mangle doing your laundry and then somebody comes along and gives you one of these. It was mind-boggling. Can you imagine having the creativity to sit down at your drawing board in 1955 when most cars still look like sideboards and draw this as a car? It's genius. For me, and for a lot of other people actually as well, this is possibly one of the most beautiful cars ever. It's so petite around the tail, but it's got that slightly angular look, and then towards the front, whereas it widens out to the nose, those big, elegant eyes, it looks feline. And then this upright expanse of glass. Half the car is so rakish, and then you, you sit upright here, looking out, it's so stately. It's astonishing, on the first day the world saw this, 12,000 people said, I like that, I'm gonna buy one. They sold 12,000 on the first day, ever. Now I should say we're not being strictly honest here, because this is a 1972 Citroen DS. But let's get one thing clear. The car they introduced in 1955, apart from a few really rather minor cosmetic changes, was built for 20 years until 1975. So there must have been something right with it. By the 70s, it got even cleverer, maybe even a bit too clever for its own good. The headlamps swiveled with the steering wheel. the looks that were futuristic and boy were they futuristic it was everything else about the car for a start those looks are the result of aerodynamics which then was considered still by many people to be something akin to witchcraft and that's not all here's the really clever bit remember the 50s was a time when most of the world was still using mangles and this had disc brakes it had a central hydraulic system that controlled the suspension, the brakes, the steering, and in cars with, wait for it, a semi-automatic transmission, the gear changes as well. All in 1955. I hate this when I drive old cars. I really want one. Now I want one. I think I might be getting the hang of this now, but... I've got to be honest, it's not the easiest thing to drive at first with the column shift, which is very slick, it's just a bit different. Once you have got the hang of it, it's great. Not the wrong gear, but it's great. Mmm, <sighs> I'm not convinced. I quite like the car. Quite. But it's the people who drive DSs. That's the problem for me. You just get the sense that they would never come out of a pub and put a traffic cone on their head and reel down the street. And that's the point, and that's why you're missing the point. I mean, you are the man, remember, who has consistently, several years running, won Britain's worst dressed man, even in your no, cargo no, pants. No. Teamed with a I've blazer. been on a makeover program now. It's a car that you're just missing. Now, later in the program, I'll be showing you what I think is the best-looking car ever. I don't like it. You don't know what it is. I don't care. I don't like it. 